I'm here at the TPC in KL for the Alaya WTA Malaysian Open and I'm joined by journalist at ESPN and All Sports Asia, Nick. Nick, thanks for joining us today. No problem, my pleasure. Have you enjoyed the week so far? Yeah, the week's been good. Uh, the weather's not been holding up too well, but I think that's added to the excitement and also the uh, competitiveness of the tournament because we've seen a lot of upset so far. Uh, the top seed, uh, Elena Sweat. Svetlina, Svetlina, yes, yeah. yes, that's right. She pulled out um, of the uh, second round after yeah. winning her first game, and then uh, the second and the third seeds are, were also dumped out. So I think we're going to see a lot of upsets uh, in this tournament. So despite uh, the weather setback at times, uh, the action on court has been really good. It's kind of lived up to the name, isn't it? The nickname, the tournament of upsets. Yeah, exactly. Top four seeds all going out yeah. in the first two rounds. Quarter final day today. What can we expect? Uh, I think we can expect uh, more upsets. Uh, more there are upsets. a couple of uh, big uh, players which have been performing quite consistently in KL. One of it is uh, Magda Lynette. Uh, I noticed her in 2015 when she came in as a qualifier and right now she's in the main draw and she's been doing really well. And uh, she will have a tough battle against uh, Duan Ying Ying. Uh, who's also about the same form. Both of them have made the last 32 in the last two tournaments. So they're coming into this tournament with some point to prove. Uh, Duang Ying Ying, one of the tallest players, six foot one. She's but but with even with that height, she's so agile and her court movement is excellent. So I think we can expect a lot of good things from that matchup and also the uh, showdown between the two uh, Chinese compatriots, uh, Wang uh, Wang yeah. Qiang yeah. and also uh, the other one, Hang Jin Yun. Uh, both of them are equally in good form as well, uh, making the uh, last 16 and uh, top 8 of the last two tournaments. So that might be a feisty uh, affair as well. So, uh, yeah, all in all, I think we can expect some three setter matches and uh, yeah, expect real good action. The Chinese players, like you say, have done extremely well haven't they, yeah. this week. I think four, in the, four playing today, including the all-Chinese all quarter-final. If you were to pick a winner now on Sunday, who would you go for? <laughs> Yeah, it really be tough to pick a winner now based on, on the upsets and the way the tournament has been going. But I think uh, if I were to pick a winner, I am fancying Duan Yingying just because of uh, her height and her experience. You know, she recently competed in the Australian Open as well. So that's going to give her a little bit more motivation to come here and try to prove herself against uh, lesser ranked players. Brilliant. So if you're in KL this weekend, come down. There's going to be some great tennis. Tickets are really cheap. Get yourself down here.